Lucky for us, we got a few sunny days and our grass is finally dried and ready to roll up. We need to get to it on this beautiful morning in Missouri. Feed buck there. All right, so uh, I did get my uh, KTM back here. Pretty sweet. I think I'm going to take it over there to the farmyard. Don't be staring at my behind here, okay? Nothing to see here. Driving down the road here. What? Jim. Again? I'm gonna need my cousin to do some bailing today. Alright, park this right here. Alright, we did get our new hydro bed truck, so I did trade that off, yes, I did take a hit on that, so it is what it is. So I'm going to get this, uh, I want to get this MoCo put away here for a little while so I can get the baler on, uh, get the rake uh, unhitched, and then, yeah, I need to get the, get the 4440 set up with the loader and the bail spikes. Hmm. Got the lights messing up around here. I don't know exactly what's going on. Uh oh, this is this is a bad omen. A ladder in front of the door. Pick this up, move it. I don't know why this is sitting right here. We'll just leave it right there for the time being. All right, let's get these stuff parked. I'll park this right over here for now probably end up using this on one of the bale trailers thinking anyways there we go alright I'm gonna hook this bale trailer up right here there we go that's hitched up now so I got that bale trailer on we will shut that off for now. I'm gonna have to hook up this bale trailer. Hmm. Open up this door here. So I got the baler over here, a couple loader tractors. All right, I'm gonna back this up, park this thing here real quickly. Oh, Moco, even though we're probably gonna need it here fairly soon. Don't want to use it right now. There we go. I'll park this right in here. Get the jack out here. Alright. So I plan on putting this on the round baler. Get my cousin started on this, hopefully. If she uh, isn't uh, is able to this morning, all right, got that hitched up. So get this out of the way. A lot of stuff to move around. I wish my cousin was already here. I think I'll take one quick round around this and then I'll hand it off to my cousin just to make sure everything's set right on this baler. Don't want anything going haywire while she's uh, bailing. Then I'll just have to stop, help her out, and just take more time. Alright, we're bailing around here. So, baler seems to be going alright. I don't know how much volume, how many bales we're going to get. This is the first, uh, basically, 
This is just the first cutting of hay, so we're probably not going to get a huge amount. We'll see though. Lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times But I needed attention No matter what I say No matter my regrets Things still been said and done mm -hmm. There's not a part of me That wants to say no So my uh, cousin's running around. Thank goodness she was able to steal bail here. So I have her running. She does pretty well running that baler. So I'm going to go get this uh, 4440 all set up. So the plan is to get this uh, 4440 and use it to load up my bail trailers over here. It's the plan anyways. I'm going to have to figure out something to run that other trailer yeah might use my uh, 4620 hook that up to that other trailer I think that would work nicely on there all right got the bale spears hooked up now I just had to put the loader on got to drive out of here and then the back in There, now we're all hooked up, ready to go. Now I just have to go get the 4640. And get the gooseneck hitch for that, and we should be ready to go. Try to start this old girl up. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Got the feed wagon already unhitched there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, my little uh, three-point hitch is right there. We'll get that quickly. All right, that's hitched up. I'm going to have to get a quick attach hitch for this old tractor here. I don't have one. Makes it a lot harder. You've got to manhandle that stuff then. All right, so we'll take this to the field right away. There we go. Get this tractor over, get both of these so I can load up both of these wagons at one time here. Alright, now we'll go get our uh, 4440. Gonna use this. Great little setup here. Got the two bale spears in the rear. Got one in the front, should be uh, great for loading up the, these uh, bales. I think we'll probably start over here on the far end, start loading up some of these bales. I'm gonna have, I'm all by myself, so I'll have to keep walking back and forth to the bale wagon, get these things loaded up. Oh wait, before I go, I'm gonna load up this one bale out in the middle of nowhere here. There we go. Load up this trailer. Carefully. There we go. Got one bale so far. Hmm. 
probably go on the where I was at first. Yeah, I'll bring it over here. Start loading up these bales right here. Let this idle right there in the field. 4640 here. 4620, sorry. You're still good. Even though you're a 20 series, you still run good. Quite a bit higher over here than that Massey, if you can tell. You can really tell the difference in height between the two. Run over these swaths. It's okay, beans. We're bailing them right up right away. Not going to be too big of a deal. Alright, spear this bale right here. Do it all over again. Man, I, I really enjoy lifting bales up and uh, putting them on trailers and all that stuff. One of my favorite things to do back on the farm even though I would say I was never really that great at it. I, my stacks were never quality stacks, let's just say that. But I have really OCD, so if they weren't like perfect, I was uh, mad at myself, but I could never get them perfect, let's just say that. Man, I really like this John Deere 4440 as a little loader tractor. It's so convenient riding up on here. Got this whole cab right here. Everything's nice and easy to see. So now we push these bales ahead on this trailer right here. as far as possible just until we almost touch the back end of the trailer right there just like so I know I put that rear three-point spears on but uh, for now I'm just gonna be using my loader tractor and moving them around that works good when you're hauling across field to place, but means we have a trailer, it doesn't really pay for itself. And, and two, you, you always run the possibility of possibly uh, losing one. doesn't take too long just doing it this way even though we're by ourselves and we have to move the tractor every time run back it's nice convenient it's uh we don't have to manhandle the bales that's always nice we got five bales on there so far i'm gonna go run this down here to the end, pick up some of these bales, and uh, I'll run back. So my plan is to get both these trailers loaded, and I figure out some place to uh, basically stack these, I guess. Come on, cousin, I need some more bales over here. Moving this trailer. I usually take it nice and slow. You never want to have to reload a trailer. And every single grass field I've ever been in seems to be bumpy as old get out. Never had a real smooth grass field. Definitely don't want to lose a bale and have to redo all your work. 
make you frustrated. Make you have to go get a cold one, I think. At least I do. Eh, let's see, that's about good. We'll go get that one over there. Hopefully my cousin spits out another one while we are over here working. Yeah, come on. Spit out another one right there. Be nice. Oh yeah, I hear beeping. Means the bale's coming. That's convenient, right there. Just back up. Hit that bale right there. A little hard pushing that one. Sometimes it kind of gets stuck in between them bar. Ooh. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to have two bales right there. It's okay. up right like here I ended up just leaving the duels on this tractor even though that's a lot more uh, field tear up and all that stuff uh, I just think with the extra weight that we're putting on and everything sometimes the duels are uh, better left on especially if it's just for loading and if the crop is already cut down not always necessary to take the duels off just for the hay crop. Got what? So this should be our ninth bale on here. So this, sh I think we got what? So this should be our eighth bale. So this thing holds. 14 bales, so we still have to push them away. Nice. Beans were so close to the farm, I'm not going to stack a third row on top. It just doesn't pay for itself. And you have a, more of a possibility of losing that row. Now this should be our ninth bale have to move because there is no bales available now over here bale just wasn't lined up properly I'm gonna get my back up right here go. Now we'll drive over here to this corner. Hopefully there's a whole stack of bales over here for us. The old girl started up here. Really convenient when you're pulling this hitch. You turn so sharp. You turn, use the tractor's uh, extra uh, tread on there to get the bales, these bale trailers. I always like it instead of using an old pickup truck in the field. Tractors work pretty nice with them. Alright, so this should be the farthest bale over on this side. Spear this old girl. Now this just gives me a lot of memories when I was younger used to do this all the time, moving bales in the field, even though at the time I thought I hated it, now it's more, it's one of the most enjoyable times of my lifetime, I think.
go. Hopefully we can get, what, we're gonna need to get four more on there we should be able to. Looks like my cousin is all done on this side of the field, so I don't know. I think we're about gonna get like two trailer loads. So just two trailer loads is I think is the last of these bales. All but one should be filled up on this side. I said that the trailer holds 14 bales. I was actually wrong. It holds 12 bales. And my uh, depth perception has never been a strong suit. One of the things is why I'm not a helicopter pilot right now is because I have horrible depth perception. I just remember in baseball I used to just time my swing because I could never tell when the ball was coming towards me. Makes it a little bit more difficult playing sports, but you can overcome it. There we go. I'll pick up this bale just so I can uh, move it on down here and uh, put it right on this trailer here. So the old 4620 is full now. Now I just need to fill up this trailer, hoping that this uh, little Massey will be able to uh, withstand this weight. Should be able to. my cousin's done down there. I don't really know what she's doing. Uh, I guess she need a call. Tell her to freaking run one of these tractors around for me. Would be the nice thing to do, at least. I think I'm gonna spear one of these bales. Just put it on the front of here. I think. Let's see. I have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I'm not missing one, let's see, I have how many more spaces on here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I think I'll have enough. Just have to spear this one, and I guess I'll have to use my loader tractor to carry the other one just wanted a spear one just so it gives it a little bit more weight moving around like this this way uh, I get some weight to the front of the tractor and it's not all on the rear oh man this trailer I mean it works so good I just love how convenient it is keeps the bales far enough apart so they're really easy to get and load on there it holds what 
uh, 12, just like the other trailer. The only thing bad about this trailer is you definitely have, it isn't an auto unload. It could use, it could even have bigger bales on there, if you could tell. So it could hold a little bit wider bales, which is kind of, pretty sure these are six foot. They might be five foot bales, I don't know. Yeah, they might be five foot bales, so it might hold a six foot bale on there, which is an unordinate, which would be nice. Now I have to walk all the way back there because my cousin hasn't brought me my 4440 yet. She's probably hanging out with Jim again. All right, we're gonna spear this bale right here. I think this is our farthest away bale right now. Uh, I guess on this side of the trailer. Go around our international here. Kind of got that bale at a canter there, which makes it hard making uh, an OCD proof trailer right here. I'm trying to make a very neat trailer, even though I'm gonna unload it right away. It's just me, I have to make a very neat trailer. go yeah put it at a slight angle there yeah hate it when I do that all right get this bale right here spirit oh, oh. don't want a spirit right there try to spear it in the middle of it here Almost done loading these bales. I mean, this pretty quick operation. We didn't get a whole lot of bales. Nothing like that. What the alfalfa over there is going to cost. Get all these loaded up here quickly. Should uh, I guess we're gonna? My count is correct. We're gonna have to have. One bale on the front of both of these loaders here. And we'll be able to hold all the bales out of this uh, pasture ground here. This grass ground. This field, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why I wanted to call it a pasture. Who does that? Apparently Stevie. All right, we're putting the last few bales. I decided just to uh, stack these three high on this trailer. At least try to, at least. And, uh, man, I really messed that one up. Get these last two bales loaded up. What do we have? We got three more bales. So I think I will just put these in the center right here. Just have a few in the center on this trailer. Oop, don't want to put it right there. There we go. That's our last bale. Now we just have to take these two trailers back and unload them to our stack here. Start this old girl up. Yeah, there we go. Start it up here. Ooh, yeah, right on. Oh, yeah, we're riding them now. Ooh, that's a lot of weight. Are we going to be able to turn it? Oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got her. We got her. Man, that's a lot of weight on the back of this old thing. Can barely pull that. Oh, 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 oh. We are riding again. Yeah, hopefully I can turn here. Turn. Oh, there we go. We got it. We're turning. We're turning now. 4640 couldn't hardly keep down. I guess it's probably the loader. 
in the front. It's got to be the loader because uh, this thing is just pulling it easily. Maybe it's the front wheel sis that's on this tractor that gives it the extra weight. Have no problem with this tractor. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later over here on Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.